All right, well, I am here with Giovanni, who is one of my colleagues, and the topic of conversation today is going to be about uh, application remediation as far as goes virtualization. Yep. And so there's obviously lots of solutions out there. Um, so can you tell us how can virtualization really help out in that space? Uh, with application compatibility, virtualization is a remediation technology. It doesn't make the application compatible, but it helps if you have an incompatible application, you can keep it running in a virtual machine on a newly deployed Windows 7 uh, desktop, for instance. Okay. So you got, uh, there's obviously, there's lots of different uh, choices there that people can make. What are all of the options that people have available to, okay. to virtualize? Well, let's start with the simplest one is, uh, the XP mode in, uh, in Windows 7, which is basically an XP virtual machine. Then you have uh, MADV, which is a set of tools and technologies that you can use to deploy virtual machines to your desktops and manage and control those virtual machines. And then, uh, um, last but not least, you have uh, a VDI, which is a way to uh, present a virtualized desktop, the whole desktop, not just the application that is not compatible, the whole solution to uh, the various users. And I also want to uh, mention AppV in this context to clarify that it is not an application compatibility technology. It's an application deployment technology. Just want to dispel any doubt there. Okay, okay. The, out of all those options, how do I know which one I'm going to pick? All right. Well, I guess a lot depends on uh, how much you're prepared to spend and how much effort you're prepared <laughs> okay. to put in it. All right. So um, XP mode, for instance, the XP virtual machine mm -hmm. in Windows 7, if you have Windows 7 Pro and upwards, it comes for free. Mm -hmm. So it's there. It's an XP virtual machine that runs in your environment. You can install the application that is incompatible on uh, uh, the XP virtual machine and keep running it seamlessly into your Windows 7 desktop. MedV, on the other hand, requires um, a software assurance or enterprise agreement. So it requires a certain size of company to make those economically viable. But if, if you have them, it gives you a complete set of tools to take those virtual machines that contain the incompatible applications or whatever else you want to put there uh, for what matters and deploy them on um, Windows 7 running virtual PC version 7 on top. So in that way you will have inventory mechanism, you will be able to deploy and control the deployment of several types of virtual machines depending on the application that you want to run and uh, you will be able to account for licensing all within the tools that are presented with MedV. VDI is an even more complex solution and it's the complete virtualization of the desktop. It's sort of a niche application area, for instance. Think of an um, um, environment where people are highly mobile and they want to access exactly the same desktop from whatever workstation they're on. They get the desktop running on a battery of Hyper-V servers. Mm -hmm and those desktops are presented to whatever workstation they log in at and they can carry on and do their own work. Also, um, in addition to the complexity of having a battery of Hyper-V servers to run the desktops, you need to take into consideration the complexity of licensing such a solution. So it will require software assurance as well and uh, it will require what we call VECD, which is a licensing model effectively that runs either on top of software assurance or uh, on its own, but it does include a component of software assurance. So again, in order to make the whole solution economically viable and um, feasible from a technical effort point of view, you need to have a certain set of knowledge and a certain size that warrants that uh, sort of expense. You mentioned AppV, and that's not an application compatibility solution. When might somebody want to use AppV? Well, AppV is a very convenient application deployment uh, mechanism. It isolates one application from another and, for instance, different versions of the same applications. You can um, 
centralized a repository, but build a centralized repository effectively of applications that you want to push to the desktops. And they are streamed to the desktops on demand. There is no need to install that particular application on the desktop. So in combination with a solution like VDI or in combination with Windows 7 deployment uh, uh, technologies like MDOP, for instance, they are uh, AppD is a, is a very useful, very powerful tool to have. It requires software assurance as well. So again, um, it's a question of horses for courses. It must be economically viable for you. On the other hand, it is probably one of the most far-reaching uh, technologies that we have today. Well, thanks, Giovanni. That's been really helpful. You're very welcome.